Hello, my name is Ron Woods. I'm the Computer Services Manager here at the St. Clairsville Public Library, and today we're going to go over one of our online resources called New Wave Legal Forms. So to access New Wave Legal Forms, you first have to visit our website at www.stclibrary.org. And when you get on our homepage, you'll see the menu up here at the top, and you're going to see one that's titled Research. So if you hover over Research, and then you come down here to where it says Research Databases, and you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page, and you're going to scroll down here under the Business heading right here, and you're going to click New Wave Legal. And when you click on this, it's going to open up a page, and it's going to ask you for your library card number. Now I'm going to input a test number in here that I have just for demonstration purposes, but you would actually put your library card number in this spot. So let me enter my number here. And I'm going to hit go. And now it's going to bring you to this main page. Now uh, you'll notice here that there's some buttons here like profile login and sign up there's search and then there's tutorials the tutorials will kind of give you a very very brief overview of how to use some of these different uh, categories down here the search will allow you to search for a specific document that you're looking for like if you're looking for a property lease or uh, a will or maybe a uh, adoption form or something like that you could type that into the search form and it would come up Let's just say we'll do a little example of that right now. Like if I put in adoption. Yeah, maybe I did if I spelled it right. There, see if you start typing, it brings up stuff here. See adoption certificate for parents is the first one that comes up. And when you're navigating this, when you go into different screens, always make sure you click the home button to go back, or it will give you an error message saying that the page is expired. Okay. So uh now I'm going to go over the profile login and sign up feature. Um, this feature allows you to create a profile on here that if you uh, create a document or whatever that you can actually save it and the next time you come back on here you won't be required to go in and fill out all the form fields again. You already have the document saved on here so I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a profile just to show you guys how this works. So I'm going to click on this profile login and sign up. You can see right here, if you already have a profile login, then you would just log in up here. Since I don't have one, I'm going to have to sign up for one. So I'm going to put my email address in here, like this. And then I'm going to put my email address in here again. Or I'm going to put my password in that I want. Okay, and then I'm going to retype my password. And then I'm going to hit sign up. I'm going to tell this don't save because I don't want it to. Now, as you can see up here, see it says St. Clairsville Public Library and it shows profile. It says, and it has my email address showing me that I'm signed in. Okay, so in the next part of this, we're going to go over the, uh, going over all the different forms. Okay, so now we're going to go over the different kind of forms we have. You'll see there's different categories listed here. There's estate planning, real estate, business, there's civil. There's family, there's personal finance, there's U.S. courts, and more. And you'll notice there's different categories underneath each one, like power of attorney and wills, landlord, tenant, and property, transaction contracts and operations, uh, civil, like, you know, name change, divorce interview, uh, family, medical, juvenile, adoption. There's personal finance, that has to do with management, personal credit. There's bankruptcy and civil documents and stuff here, and then there's also more. It's like if you look under each one of these categories, like I'm just going to click on bankruptcy as an example. You'll see there's a bunch of different uh, forms here for you that you can fill out. Now these ones here that have this little icon is a manually fill in PDF file. Those are different from the ones like you see here where it's a debt settlement agreement where you can use an autofill system and it'll spit out a Word document. So it just depends, you know, I mean, it's just a difference in how it's filled out. So if we go back here to the home screen, also when you're navigating in here, Always make sure that you use the home button to go back to the main page. If you use your back and forward buttons up here in your browser, it'll cause the it could cause the website to error out because it's secured. So but you can see under here for power of attorney, there's a couple different forms here for that. Limited power of attorney, revocation of power of attorney, that kind of stuff. I also want to go over real quickly, I want to touch on wills. I mean I think this is kind of important for a lot of people, but there is a uh, everything you need, I would say pretty much everything to get you started 
on being able to put together a last will and testament and there's different samples for people with different living situations like for people that are married to have little kids people that are married that have adult kids um, people that are married that might not have any kids or maybe people that are not married that have little kids or people that are not married to have adult kids I mean there's a whole bunch of different ones here that you can choose from and it'll help you put together a basic framework for a will um, there's also this external link here that's, that says Ohio Living Will and this link will take you to the Ohio Living Will form page that you can actually uh, print out and fill out and then you can file this with your uh, you know local courthouse or whatever you probably have to talk to might have to have an attorney a probate attorney file it for you but uh, Ohio would see that as your wishes for your Ohio Living Will so like you know do not resuscitate and that kind of stuff. So that might be something if you're interested in. We do have the uh, resource here for you. So the, I'm going to go over an example of one, filling one out here, just to kind of show you the end result of what you would get. So I'm going to go ahead and click under Landlord here. And say I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to scroll down here. You can see there's a bunch of agreements and everything if you're a landlord. But I'm going to scroll down here and use the one that says Residential Lease Agreement. And I'm going to click on that. And then see it's going to come up here. And you're going to see this save to the cloud means if you created an account, you can save this so you can come back later and you wouldn't have to fill all this out. So it's something to think about if you want to, you know, you don't have to have an account to do this, but having an account makes it a little easier. So I'm going to fill this out. So it's going to ask, you know, what is the full legal name of the landlord? I'm going to say me. So I'm going to put my name in there. It's going to ask, what's the full legal name of the tenant? And I'm just going to put in John Doe for now for this example. It's going to ask, what's the mailing address of the landlord? So I'm going to put in uh, my address here. And let's see here. This autofill feature is nice. Okay, and it's going to ask for my phone number. And I'm going to put 40. I'm just going to put a dummy number in here just for an example. Now it's going to ask for the mailing address of the of the tenant, and I'm going to put in 114 9th Avenue. I'm going to put in Bethesda, Ohio, and I'm going to put in the zip code. And then it's going to ask for the tenant's phone number, and I'm going to put 740. And I'm going to do. There we go. So I filled this out, and I'm just going to click next, and it's going to come up and say what's the address for the property that we're leasing. So I'm going to put in an address here, okay, and zip code, and I'm going to hit next, and then it's going to ask when does the start of the lease term, so when's it start, I'm going to say it starts next Monday, and it's going to ask when it ends, see you got your button controls here, and I'm going to go to the next year, and I'm going to say it ends on April 30th of next year, so it's like a year, and I'm going to hit next. Now it's going to ask you what the amount of the monthly rent is, and I'm just going to put $750 in here just as an example. And it's going to say if there's a partial month rent payment, what's the pro monitor rate? I'm going to put $450. Okay, and it's going to ask what, what forms of payment are you going to accept for this? In this case, I'm going to put cash, I'm going to put check, and I'm going to put money order on here. What's the amount of the security deposit? And I'm going to say it's $550, and I'm going to hit next. And it's going to list all the appliances that are included in the rental property. So I'm going to put furnace, I'm going to put hot water tank, I'm going to put air conditioning, I'm going to put air conditioning, uh, let's see here, furnace, hot water tank, air conditioning, and I'm going to put washer and dryer. washing machine there we go okay and it's going to list all the furniture that's included in the rental property I'm going to put you know I'm going to say there's a love seat there's a uh, there's a kitchen table okay there's chairs and there's a reclining chair okay I'm going to hit next and now it's going to ask me list all the occupants that are allowed to reside at the leased property and then see if you click this add input it's going to allow another field so I'm going to put John Doe here I'm going to put his wife Jane 
I'm going to put his son, Billy. And then I'm going to hit next. It's going to ask, what's the name of the landlord's representative? Well, since I don't have a representative, I'm just going to put my name in here, and I'm going to put my address in here because I am the representative. But if you had a representative, like if this, if this was like an apartment complex, for example, maybe you would put your, uh, you would put your uh, building manager in. You know, I mean, it would be the one that would deal with your apartment building for you. So, I mean, this makes it pretty simple to fill out. And then, you know, I'm just going to put a phone number in here, which I'm going to put mine. You know what I mean? But you would put your representative in if you had a representative that managed your rental properties for you. So I'm going to hit next. And then it's going to ask here, um, for this part of the residential agreement, it's asking you who's responsible for paying what. So who's responsible for paying electricity? I'm going to say the tenant. Who's responsible for paying for garbage collection? I'm going to put the landlord, which will be me. Who's responsible for paying for trash removal? That's going to be me. Who's going to pay for gas? They're going to pay for gas. They're going to pay for their hot water, and they're going to pay for their heat. Now, there's no additional utilities. I mean, if you wanted to name an additional utility, like if you put internet service in here, for example, and then you can say that they're responsible for paying for that. And then maybe if you wanted to put a cable TV or satellite, you would put the tenants responsible for that. If you wanted it to be set up that way. I'm just setting it up this way just as an example. And then I click Next. Then it's going to say briefly describe any pets that will be permitted in the unit or enter none to allow none. So I'm going to say in this case I don't want to allow any pets into my rental property. So I'm going to put so I'm going to put none. I'm going to hit next. Then it's going to ask here. Residential lease agreement input form was the property constructed in 1978 or after? Or was the property constructed prior to 1978? But the landlord is confirmed with all federal requirements regarding lead-based paint disclosure. Well, since the property I'm, you know, renting for this example was created, was built after 1978, I'm just going to check that box. So once you check that box, to so see, now at the bottom here, you'll see that there's blank PDFs and then there's a blank Word document. Like if you want to just download a blank one and fill it out the old-fashioned way, you can do that. Or you can uh, actually download the completed Word document or the completed uh, Adobe document. So I'm going to click download on the Adobe document here. And it's going to open up a new window. And you're going to see here that you got yourself a full-blown renter's agreement. So you can see this residential lease agreement is entered into by the people listed that we filled out in the forms. And you go all the way down, it's got the terms of the lease and when it expires, what the rent payments are, what the security deposit is, what appliances are included, uh, how, what occupants the tenant's allowed to have, all notices where they're going to be given and to what address, who's responsible for what utilities, a no pets policy, the tenant obligations, Landlord obligations, and you can see it's listed here, maintenance of dwelling, destruction of premises, notification of termination, that kind of stuff. And you can see the lease premises was constructed after this, and then it's got the part where people would sign their John Henry on them. So it's pretty much made it that easy for you to get on here real quick and create yourself a uh, pretty good uh, renter's agreement. So there's a lot of other agreements back on here. So... If this is something you guys are interested in, there's a lot of other forms here for a lot of uh, different stuff. So this is definitely a good resource to explore. I mean, I highly recommend using it. So uh, if you have any questions, as always, you can contact us at the library. We'd be more than happy to help you. My name was Ron, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Have a great day.